everyone. I get a lot of requests actually about titrations. A lot of you seem quite confused about them and how you would actually carry one out. Now I've already done a video on titration calculations which I'll link here. But today's video is going to be more about the method behind how you actually set up a titration. Now I really recommend that you watch a video on some scientist that has actually carried out a titration. You can find them on YouTube. Just write carrying out a titration into that search bar and it will actually show you what, what's happening. But I am going to give you an overview here of what's going on and also what sorts of things you need to say in order to get six marks in that long exam question. Now all you're doing with a titration is getting an amount of acid, an amount of alkali, you're reacting them together until they become neutral and you're trying to work out the exact volume of alkali you need to add to that acid in order to neutralise it. And that's why we use this really strange looking piece of equipment called a burette, which is just a really long thin measuring cylinder effectively, but it measures volumes incredibly accurately to the nearest drop. So that's why we use the burette. In terms of setting it up, what you're going to need is a conical flask and you're going to be putting a very specific volume of acid into that conical flask and it's going to have a concentration which we don't know, which we're then going to use titration calculations in order to calculate. However, in terms of the method, you're going to use a pipette to accurately measure out a very specific volume of acid into the conical flask, let's say 25 centimetres cubed for an example. Next up, you're going to add some sodium hydroxide, for example, some alkali to the burette, and you're going to know the concentration of that, so it could be 0.2 moles, for example, but you're going to add that to the burette. Next up, you're going to place the conical flask under the burette and on top of a white tile. If you add a white tile, it's going to help you look at the colour change which is about to take place. In order to see the colour change, we're going to need an indicator, and an indicator is just like a dye. It changes colour based on the pH the acidity or the alkalinity of the substance. So you're going to add an indicator to the conical flask. We could use phenolphthalein. And remember, this is colourless in acidic solutions and goes a stunning pink colour when the solution becomes alkali. So what you do is you add that indicator to the conical flask and at this point you can start adding alkali to the acid in your conical flask. So you're going to turn the tap on the burette and add small amounts of the alkali. Now you will see the pink appear in the conical flask and it will keep appearing and disappearing and then you'll get to a point where by only adding one more drop of alkali will the whole colour in that flask turn pink and you can take the volume now by reading the burette. Um, and that's really how you carry out a titration. In terms of actually writing a six mark answer, all you need to say is add the acid to the conical flask for the second mark using a pipette place on a white tile for the third mark, place the alkali in the burette and add in a dropwise motion, that will give you four, mark, four marks, then you're going to swell the flask in order to mix it properly, and don't forget to add the indicator to the conical flask, I probably should have said that earlier, but it doesn't really matter if you say this out of order, no one's going to penalise you for it, but remember the indicator's there and it changes colour based on pH, and that's really it, it's really straightforward. I'm going to link a past paper question now so you can have a look at the sorts of questions they'll ask. And like I said, you do need to be able to be able to answer titration calculations. So do have a look at my video on that if you're a bit stuck on that. And I'll see you very soon. In this question, you'll be assessed on using good English, organising information clearly and using specialist terms where appropriate. A student used the equipment shown to do a titration. Describe how students should use this equipment to find the volume of sodium hydroxide solution that reacts with a known volume of acid. Include any measurements that the student should make. Do not describe how to do any calculations. And goodness me, that's a massive amount of space. Don't fill it all, that's stupid. Six marks. Right, so first of all, state that you use the pipette to add the known volume of acid to the conical flask. Then place it on a white tile so you can see the colour color change clearly and add the indicator to the acid in the conical flask. Next up, pour the sodium hydroxide into the burette. Use the burette's tap to add the sodium hydroxide in a dropwise motion so that eventually the indicator will change colour when the exact amount of sodium hydroxide has been added. When the indicator no longer changes colour, take the reading of the sodium hydroxide. Um, constantly agitate, i.e. what's the word for it? That's too posh. Shake the conical flask, stir it. I don't know, I'm being silly and tired. But basically, make sure that you move the acid to make sure that the indicator and the sodium hydroxide are well mixed. And there it is. That's all you need to say. And hopefully they've given you all the equipment. So I hope you found that helpful.